Thank you for joining us for this training video. In the first part of this video, we will guide you through the process of setting up motion recording in a VivoTech camera and setting VAS to record that video. In the second video, we'll show you how to use a combination of continuous and motion recording across different cameras on the same server. If you haven't installed VAST or added IP cameras to it, please check out our other videos. This first section will cover setting up the motion window in the camera's web interface. Right-click the camera in the camera list and select Camera Settings. In the camera interface, click Configuration, Applications, Motion Detection. For certain cameras, you may need to click Advanced Mode first. Put a check next to Enable Motion Detection. Click New. Then attempt to drag the window to cover the entire motion area. If it won't move at all, switch to Compatibility View under your Tools menu. Some browsers require pressing the Alt key to enable the Tools menu. Now that we have a basic window, adjust the sensitivity to 95% and percentage to 5%. This will be the ideal setting for most situations, including differently sized windows. However, feel free to make slight adjustments for the situation. The sensitivity configures the amount of color change required in the picture to activate the motion trigger, while the percentage is the amount of the window or the size of the object that is required to activate the motion trigger. Let's give the window the name Motion 1 and save it. Also, I should note, if you can't see any of the plugin here, you could be in the wrong browser. You definitely need to be an Internet Explorer. This setup is good for testing purposes in close quarters indoor surveillance, but for a higher megapixel camera, it may not be sensitive enough. In that case, let's use three windows to make it more sensitive. If you have trouble moving the slider bars to the exact percentage you want, you can highlight it and then click your arrow keys. This is helpful during a remote connection scenario. These three windows work better because the percentage of the window is based on the window size. So a smaller window means a smaller object can activate the motion trigger with the same percentage value. If you wanted to trigger on even smaller objects, you can make the window smaller and place them directly over coverage hotspots. Of course, usually you want to cover the entire area, so the last setup we had was probably better in most situations. You will need to repeat these steps for each camera you're recording motion with, setting up the motion windows in each camera. When you're finished creating motion windows on the camera end, let's close this window, then bring up VAST Live Client so we may set it for motion recording. 
You can notice the red boxes in the VAST client showing that the motion window is enabled. Click Configuration, Station Settings, Recording Schedule Settings. Highlight where it says Always. On the right, the drop-down will indicate Continuous Recording. Change it to Event. In most cases, this is enough and we can apply the changes. If you want, you could also uncheck all the other triggers except Motion. We'll click Apply, and then Close. We have now set up both aspects required for motion recording in VAST, the motion window on the camera and the event recordings in VAST. This concludes the first part of this two-part video. The next section covers combining continuous recording with event recorded video. We thank you for watching and choosing VivoTech. Remember to visit us at www.vivotech.com to see all of the latest VivoTech products.